Hey guys, it's Tamson from Tamson's Threads. I wanted to share with you what I picked up at a Salvation Army. I haven't been to this location before. Apparently it's a year old and I had really good success. So I thought I would give you um, a view of what I picked up and why I picked it up. So I spent $69.25. I got 20 items. So the cost of goods was about $3.46 per item. And so yeah, let's get into it. So I will do shoes first. The first pair of shoes I picked up were $4.99 and they are a pair of J slides and I do need to clean up some sticker residue and they have a few of these like stray pieces which is really easy to clean up um, and then I will use a magic eraser on them. So I probably will list these for about 30 and realistically they'll probably sell for about 20. I could list them for more but I do want things to sell fairly quickly. Then I have a pair of really cute booties. These are DV Dolce Vita, Dolce Vita, and these are only $2.99, and they are um, a really nice suede. So I will probably list these, I'd say, again, around $30. And then these I picked up because it's just a classic... Um, ankle boots and nice suede again. These are Soul Society um, called the Vixen size 9 and I just really liked the quality. There is this small mark right here um, where the top layer has kind of come off but I will try to clean these up a little bit, buff that out and these were $1.99. Okay and then last pair of shoes I picked up were these really cute Chelsea boots and they were $2.99. They're eight and a half and they are Arturo Chang. Arturo Chang. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. Can you see? Eh, it's upside down. But um, I just really liked the quality and I definitely got some Madewell vibes with this, with this type of style. Um, and I could tell that they were really good too by the soles and kind of the quality of the heel. Then I stopped by the men's section and I looked at the ties and I found this YSL vintage tie. I don't know if it's going to focus. Um, I got this for, it's 100% silk. I got this for $1.88 and yellow tags were half off. So as you can kind of see, everything balanced out. I have not really done a lot of research on ties and I'm not even sure if this is going to sell really well but I know the brand is really good so we shall see and I'm gonna save my most favorite item for last so I'm moving that aside I picked up this really pretty ball gown it is a maxi dress with the side slit and the top is like this and then it's kind of backless so there's like a cutout this was half off of $5.99 so $3 and this is a Faviana, size 10. And I'm going to be setting this one to thread up because I'm not sure how fast it will sell on Poshmark and Mercari and whatnot. And this is a pair of soft surroundings, linen pants, wide leg, super cute. It looks super comfortable. It's not my size, unfortunately. This was half off of $3.99. And yes, these are extra small with the, the back has a little bit of elastic. I'm noticing a little bit of a mark right here. So hopefully I'll just put that in the listing and people still buy damaged, like fairly, like really good condition um, with a little bit of damage as long as you disclose it. And then I picked up this Reba dress. It is new with tags super pretty not technically like my style so i'm going to be setting this sending this to thread up it was half off of 12.99 and it retailed for 158 dollars it looks like it was like at nordstrom rack or um nordstrom's last chance i also picked up the, the dresses at the store were fire so i picked up this dress that sounded really weird um <laughs> carmen mark volvo infusion and I wasn't familiar with this brand but I could feel that it was good quality and super pretty lace 
and I'm gonna look and see if it would be worth putting up on my Poshmark. I really like this one a lot, but if not, uh, it's going to thread up. This one I picked up is Nua Tags. It's Tahari, and I thought that this one would be. Oh, it looks like so. It looks like Steinmart must have donated a bunch of dresses that didn't sell. Um, but I thought that this one would be a good one for thread up because it's new with tags and it's $129 new with tags. And I spent, I don't know where the thrift tag is. I think most dresses were $7.99 if they weren't marked. So they were transitioning from doing colored tags to just like a flat rate for, um, all of their like categories. I picked up this dress. This is an Ann Taylor size 10 dress. It felt, it felt like linen, um, and I, I'm pretty sure it is. It was half off of $5.99. Also going to thread up. I found this Lauren, Ralph Lauren, 100% um, cashmere, half off of $6. So I'm noticing there's a few marks and I will, or holes, I will go through and I can try to fix those. Um, and I will list it in my own Poshmark closet. Then I have this dress. This is a really cute JS Collections. And it's definitely got some like 90s, early 2000 vibes. Um, but it is like new condition and also going to thread up. I might check comps on Poshmark because it looks pretty trendy. And then this is a Nanette Lepore. And this one's new with tags, so I'm sending this one to thread up. Um, I might change my mind though if I do more research on Poshmark and if comps are good, but the retail value was $148. And I did not see a thrift tag on this, so I'm assuming it was $7.99. And these are Keepsake, the label. They were half off of $7.99. They're wide leg floral pants. I'm in love with these. I think they're so cute. Um, I probably will po list this on Poshmark. When I say list on Poshmark, I'm also listing on eBay and Mercari, and I'm slowly getting on to Depop. Um, but just in general, selling myself versus sending it to thread up to be sold. Um, okay, so this is a... Alia dress, and I picked this one up um, half off of $7.99, and I just really like the detail on it. It's embroidered, and I haven't decided where I'm sending this one, but this is a size small. I picked this one up. This is such a really beautiful, authentic uh, Middle Eastern dress, and I love the details on it. When I was searching for comps, Etsy had these over $100 each, so I probably will sell this myself. But it's by Modilla Fashion, and it's made in Pakistan. I just think it's gorgeous. And second to last item, J. Crew pants. These are just some really nice elastic, wa elastic waist work pants um, with kind of a cropped bottom or it has this really cool detail. I don't know if you can see that. These were half off of six dollars. And my most favorite item that I picked up is this vintage Walt Disney illustration letterman jacket. I am completely obsessed with this. This was $9.99. Let me show you the, the patch on the front. So it is um, Disney Studio Editions, made in the USA, and look how old this tag is. I'm like obsessed with this. Um, extra large, there's wool, leather, and I'm not exactly sure how old specifically this is. Um, there is a little mark on one of the arms. But I will just disclose that and I can also repair it. I put in the listing that I will repair upon request. So I don't invest the time unless the customer has specifically asked me to try to repair it. 
and um, this is just so amazing. I'm really tempted to keep it, but I think it's a little too hot for Arizona. And comps on eBay and um, Etsy were anywhere from 120 to 250 So we shall see where this one ends up at. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another haul. I have two on the way.